Nigerian entrepreneur. Tony Ilumelu on Thursday said that Nigeria loses 95% of its crude oil to looters under the President Muhammadu Buhari regime. So what is Buhari doing? He wants to fight the corruption. He doesn't even know what is happening. That is even the, the worst part of it. Mr. Ilumelu, while reacting to recent developments in the country, lamented that Boni Termina ought to be receiving 200,000 barrel of crude oil as against the 3,000 barrel it gets on a daily basis. Businesses are suffering. How can we be losing over 95% of oil produce, production to thieves? Asked Mr. Ilumelu via a Twitter. A tweet. Look at the Boni Termina that should be receiving over 200 thousand barrels of crude oil daily instead of it receives instead it receives less than three thousand barrels leading the operator shell to declare force major his comment comes in the wake of the recent national grid collapse that has continued to put the entirety of nigeria in thick darkness as well as the continued hike in the pump price of diesel people's gazette on Thursday reported that the Pump price of diesel hit a record high of 800 naira per liter, with the new price showing a significant increase in pump price from the initial 225 naira per liter sold in January. Can you imagine? <laughs> from 200 per liter, now it's 800 naira. Mostly used by large-scale businesses in their daily activities in the wake of the erratic power supply being experienced in the country. The price of diesel, which is largely unregulated, has surged by over 113% in the last 14 months. On the incessant national grid collapse, aides to the president have continued to deflect blames, claiming that Nigeria experienced power grid collapse more frequently during the administration of late Omar Yaradra and good luck Jonathan. Blame game, blame game. What is the solution? Let them prove our solution. There's no problem with our solution. Let them prove our solution. They can't. They don't even know what to do because the time they are using to blame or to be reflecting on what happened or what uh, happened in the past, they should be using that energy to prove our solution under the same... Uh, uh, Mr. Integrity, my food corruption is ongoing, and he will come and tell us, come and point to me where he has done wrong, where he has done this, where he has done that. Very, very unserious set of people. Oh my God, same thing they want to continue if this 80 years old man succeed in his quest, even as hands are shaking. APC is a very useless party. Buari is the best that APC could ever offer in eight years. Shameful. Parents cannot even pay school fees for their children abroad because banks have reduced transactions to $20 per month. <laughs> Not even $100. Import is now difficult because maximum amount you can spend online is $20. Most businesses have folded up. Manufacturers now find it difficult to get their raw materials abroad because of the peg on dollars. Emir Fele has mopped up all the dollars for his campaign. <laughs> That's another story which has reduced citizens to perpetual suffering. Now, with all this uh, policy, policy here, at the end of the day, the country is not even better for it, but they are the ones benefiting. Tinubu still wants to be president after the monumental failure of his party, APC, has exhibited. Tinubu is a shameless, unscrupulous bogus. What is he or his party looking for in Nigeria again? Have they not destroyed Nigeria enough? Corruption versus integrity. In 2015 versus now. 2015 versus now. Price in 2015 versus what is obtainable now. Petrol as a then was 95 Naira and now it's 250 Naira. Diesel 160 Naira. Now it's 800 Naira. 50 kg of rice 7,005 versus 33,000 Naira. Local air ticket 30,000 Naira versus 100,000 100, Naira. Crates of egg. 600 naira versus 2003. Hey, hey, are you sure? Hey, hey. Kerosene, 100 naira versus 600. Unbelievable. APC has finished Nigeria. 2019 audit query. Auditor General revealed 107 million barrels of crude oil missing, 
Buhari and APC are very wicked. Ah, at, at the end of the day, nothing happened. Just imagine the monumental looting and yet, when asked to explain why things are so bad in Nigeria, he smiles. The audit report of the Auditor General for the Federation has revealed that the defunct Nigeria National Petroleum Company <laughs> okay, failed to account for about 107 million barrels of crude oil lifted for domestic consumption in 2019. The disclosure formed part of six audit queries from the Auditor General for the Federation as contained in the Federal Government of Nigeria Consolidated Financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2019, submitted to the clerk of the National Assembly via a letter dated August 18, 2021, and signed by the Auditor General Adolphus Ahuhu. The report stated that records from performance reports of two depots revealed that about 22,000 liters of PMS value at seven. Uh, points oh six billion pump naira pumped to the two depots Ibadan Ilori and Aba Enugu between June and July 2019 were not received by the depots. <laughs> corruption, corruption is just unfortunate. <laughs> okay, well, Buhari is one hopeless president that Nigeria will never forget. The president is the number one chief looter for pathological personalities in crime, hides under the guise of being in power. And authority to execute their heinous crimes against the state irrespective of regions where well, the useless rulers have introduced fear i mean fear to us if reliable people are protesting the suffering one among them will be the ones who carry weapons to attack those who are fighting for them because of sentiment and tribalism education is good and that is what is happening. You see, people always talk about, oh, why people not coming as? Why people not coming as? Let them come as. You see that there will be counter process or they will send all the mopos and the what have you to go and harass them. But when it comes to a governor who has already gathered people to protest because of uh, his own power, you will not hear any, you will hear any form of casualty. APC and his politicians are one chance government. Nigerians who voted for APC should go back to school to be properly educated so that they don't fall for outright flies and malicious propaganda used by the strange bedfellows of APC to oust Jonathan and grab power in 2015. A person with no slightest knowledge of economics, political science and law to gullible Nigerians that he may, he will make one Naira equal to dollar. Nigeria should stop giving that man more troubles. He's resting in and sleeping in hell. Terrible indeed. And we, many of us, are suffering for what we do not know nor believe in. Hmm. That's it. So, guys, that's the corruption under demo. Leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.